Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For my newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, on my rooftop again because the last couple of days was really rainy. The sun starts to shine a little bit here at the sea, but guys, it was terrible weather. Today, the Bam Bam Friday can't even um, be happening because of the rainy weather, guys. But I have some amazing charts today. It's like, I think, 10 charts. It's like a 10 to 15 minute video, but watch the video completely because it will give you a beautiful Friday feeling on Bitcoin and what is happening in this beautiful market, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the first chart over here. Oh, I have some really cool news as well that we need to see. <laughs> now, let's quickly one and bam. Here. This is the first chart, guys. As you know, I always trade on Bybit. It is my favorite exchange. Of course, yes, this is again a racing weekend. So uh, good luck to Max Verstappen. He's sponsored by Bybit. If you want to join Bybit, you can scan the QR code um, or click the links down below the video and claim up to 4,400 US dollar bonus and a 30% free discount. And yes, also access to the Bit Launchpad. And there is 0% fee on spot trading anymore uh, at the moment. So there's many spot trades that you can do for free. Now, um, let's go and check this chart. This chart is very cool. This is the four hour chart and with the bam bam indicator. On that four hour chart, we can see the long flag over there and people think that this is a sign to take the long, but that isn't. This only means that we're the indication that the long will be there. Then we need the confirmation of the candle closing above the yellow step and it like, happened. But it was followed by a red triangle. And while all of this happened, guys, on the bottom, you saw that there was a lot of blue and yellow. This is not a valid long. We also saw that the white line was pointing downwards when the blue line was crossing it. Not a valid confirmation of a long. If you want to know what other confirmation you need, then watch all the other videos, guys. Now I'm zooming out to the weekly over here. The weekly shows something really cool. We are closing the scandal in two days and 16 hours. We are touching that downward trend line, you know, and why is it that downward trend line? If it comes from the top all the way over here and then it goes down and it is resistance at a lot of points over there, over there, here the support, here the support, here again, it broke support and it became resistance again many times. So this line is an important line. And at the moment we are fighting that line, as you can see, if we break that line with the scandal that is positive news but the wick should be uh, smaller on the top now it is a mixed candle in my opinion so it's mixed feelings yes we can break it but also yes we can still visit that 300 weekly moving average that is in the bottom over there around 17,786 so both scenarios are possible but both scenarios are also indicating to me that the bottom is in or that we are very close to the bottom. But more about that later, uh, because you can already see on the bottom, the multiple flashing completely green, which always happens near the bottoms, guys. Now, let's zoom out. <clears throat> let's take a look at the month. On the month, we can see that the candle is going to close in 10 days. In 10 days, we need to close above that purple line and uh, uh, preferably a little bit more closer to the 200 weekly moving average at 23,700. Is that possible? In my opinion, yes, it is possible. Uh, and that would make that next bar a light pinkish bar. And then we form a new bar. And if that also is a light pinkish bar, then we can see the MACD is turning around. And in the end, that blue line on the bottom will start to cross that red line to the top. And that is the moment, if you look here to the left, where the bull run starts again. So this is the chart that we zoom out and we look at in the bigger picture, okay? <clears throat> also, this is some very cool news, guys. We have now the Bam Bam Indicator Lite. For those that have been saying the Bam Bam Indicator is too expensive and it's too full, this is the light package. You have less information, but still there is enough information that uh, can gu guide you in taking some kinds of directions in a trade. So we have triangles that give you indications, we have the green and the red bands that give you indications, and we have the blue uh, sea and the yellow beach and the grass hills that give you an indication. If you want no more information about that, then go to the bitcoinfamily.com guys and you will find it on the products 
indicator packages. You will find all the indicator packages and, and then you will find uh, the bronze VIP package. Um, it's a light indicator on TradingView. This includes the Bitcoin family 2.98 and the margin call light. Really cool. Uh, you can see it's a 0.025 lifetime subscription, which is a nice price to be having a cool set of indicators, guys. Uh, for all the um, beautiful VIPs out there, you will get free access, of course, to this indicator. It will be given to you in the next couple of days up to a week and then you will have access to that indicator as well because you already have the gold or the silver package now let's go to the next chart bam here guys this is really cool this is the r huddle ratio um i can tell you a lot about this of this but what it means is that when the orange line comes in the top area the market is overheated and when it comes in the bottom area the market is oversold now Every time we come in these greenish areas, was an amo amazing moment to buy Bitcoin. Amazing moment to buy Bitcoin. And now we are again getting into that green area, which will be an amazing moment to buy into Bitcoin. So you should be buying. That is also what I just showed here, this one as well, telling you every time when we touch that greenish area with the orange line, that should be the moment you are buying into Bitcoin because that would be the bear market bottom. Here it was happening, here it was happening, here again you could have bought, here you could have bought in the COVID dip, and now again we are massively in that green area already for some time, just like that bear market 2015-16 here. You can see we are moving in the bear market, and yes, it can take some bit longer, but it's a beautiful moment to dollar cost average in to Bitcoin guys and also the Puel multiple yes telling you the same every time we on the green and the greenish area there's the end of the bear market there's the start of the accumulation phase and that's then after that leading into the bull market the end of the bear market the start of the accumulation phase and the lead into the bull market the end of the bear market the start of the accumulation phase and that will lead into the bull market what is the accumulation phase that is the phase that you should be accumulating Bitcoin dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin buy at 19k 18k if you think 17 and 16 and 15k will happen buy a little bit there as well but keep stacking sets now let's jump into some more really cool charts and there will be the last couple of charts let's go over here bam this is the first one guys uh, these charts I found Found on Twitter, uh, I really liked this one. This one was created, I think, by Bit Harrington or shared by Bit Harrington. Um, it's Bitcoin on the monthly, and it's looking at how many months we are in the bear market. Um, and as we can count over here, we were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 to 20 to 21 months in the bear market over here. I believe this was only 17 to 18 months in the bear market. And if we take from the moment of the first stop till now, that is already 22 months in the bear market. Why the moment from the first stop? Because a lot of indicators said that was the bull market top. Yes, this one was higher, so that could also be considered as the bull market top. Uh, then it would be only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 months in the bear market, so we should have a long time to go. Depends on where the, the month comes from. Again, you can also look in the bottom, when that blue line, um, that one is crossing the red line, that would be the end of the bear market and the start of the bull market. Here as well, and here there is a long distance to go still to, for those lines to cross. Cool chart. Now, here, a very interesting chart as well, guys. Um, this one is the percentage, um, the monthly percentage of empty blocks. And that one went for the first time, bam, there, below 0.1%. So that means that the amount of empty blocks in the month of August went below 0.1%, which means the blocks are pretty full, which means there's a shitload of adoption because all the blocks are almost full. People are transacting Bitcoin and are using Bitcoin, so the blocks are full. This is beautiful because we've never seen such a low percentage of empty blocks really cool and that is also that uh, leads to this chart bam also a beautiful um, chart what shows you um, the adoption that we are currently seeing because if you look to the united states of america and we look there to uh, the bitcoin atm uh, in uh, amounts 
per month, we can see that the amount of Bitcoin ATMs is growing steeply. At the moment, we are somewhere around 63,000 Bitcoin ATMs. And you can see which companies are responsible for these ATMs. So we have Liberty X, CoinSquare, CoinFlip. All of these are responsible for the Bitcoin ATMs. And it's growing steeply, which means it's more easy to convert cash into Bitcoins and Bitcoins into cash. Now, really cool adoption. We can see the same numbers happening, I think, in, the, in the Europe and the rest of the world. Uh, but beautiful chart about the United States. Now, bam, that was really everything. Um, that was a beautiful amount of charts. I hope you really enjoyed the charts and the news of the new Bam Bam Light Indicator. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about those charts? What do you think about all of the information I shared today? Thanks for watching. Hopefully I will be back a little bit more regularly uh, in the next couple of days, but I was a really busy time the last couple of days without having the bar opened. And I have some friends here that wanted to visit some cities, but you know, I want to make some more videos again when I get the time. Thanks for watching. See you hopefully tomorrow again.